Yeah, it's Hobbs Horror, knocking down your door, all about the guts and gore, blood and pus, give him some more, he wants bone and entrails for across the floor, so if you're looking for that theater macabre, bruh, look no more, sit back and relax and enjoy some Hobbs Horror. Thank you for watching Hobbs Horror, Hobbs Horror, Hobbs Horror. Yeah, and don't forget to like and subscribe and all that good shit. Good shit, good shit, good shit, good shit, good shit, good shit. The gift of 2015 film with a runtime of 1 hour and 48 minutes. Gets a 7.0 on IMDb. Starring Jason Bateman. We have Jason Bateman who plays Simon in the film. We also have Rebecca Hall, Joey Edgerton. Jason Bateman was phenomenal in this movie. In fact, everybody in this film was brilliant. We follow Simon and his wife. They're moving into a new home. He gets a new job in the city. And basically, uh, they're out doing some shopping and they run into a gentleman from Simon's past. And they call him Gordo. That's what his name is. And, you know, he, they said, hey, let's hang out some time. Let's get together. Let's kick it. Because they knew each other from high school and whatnot. So they arrange for this to happen, and then Gordo gets a little too friendly as he keeps showing up with presents and stuff at the house. Kind of like you would think a creeper would in some of those movies. You've seen those movies where somebody gets really too close to the family, and they won't leave them alone. And they actually sometimes have even showed up in their house. For example, their house, they don't have any koi fish. Well, they get home one day, and... Even though they have a pond for it, they didn't have any koi fish. But now they do because he left the koi fish there. So he's just kind of a creeper, you know. Um, and then they have to figure out what's going on in the backstory. And I'm going to leave it at that. And the reason why I'm going to leave it at that is there is a couple huge twists in the film. This film has a special meaning to it and a special message. I'm just going to leave it there. And now let me give you my thoughts on the gift. I really liked this movie. The runtime, even though it was an hour and 45 minutes, 48 minutes, didn't take me out of the film. Like I said, the acting was brilliant. Jason Bateman kills it practically in everything that he does, including the Ozark and Teen Wolf 2. Yes, I liked Teen Wolf 2. <laughs> um, I liked the twist in the film. I thought... Uh, the acting was, like I said, brilliant. Rebecca Hall even did a phenomenal job. Jill Edgerton did a phenomenal job. The supporting cast did a phenomenal job. The aesthetics, the film, the natural area, looking, the house, all of it, all looked really nice. Um, even the food that was cooked looked yummy in the film. They seemed to be eating dinner quite a bit at home. And when they would, they would make immaculate food. Sounds odd, but strange, but true. Just a really, really well shot movie. Theo, thank you for sending me this dude. My sister recommended this movie to me a long time ago and I never got a chance to check it out. If you're watching, this one's for you. Um, this is a great movie. Highly recommended. Let me know your thoughts on The Gift. Not too much of a horror, but more of a thriller with a deep meaning to it. Alright guys, I'll catch up with you later. Peace. Welcome, welcome to the house on the A6 block I'm just chillin' on the porch in my chair I rock I'm your host Jimmy Biggs with the coolest crit The only light outside is the full moon rip Welcome, welcome to a world mixed with evil and good If you ain't plan on staying, then you listen to school This ain't a nightmare The figment of imagination Step inside and the house will awaken Skeleton, play the piano